now now let's prove how this uh, uh, line which bisects the hypotenuse becomes uh, half of this hypotenuse for this uh, let's draw a line uh, a bisect a line which bisects the side bc let's draw a line from e which bisects the line bc such that uh, this uh, d is the midpoint of bc if it is so i can say this ed is parallel to ec and if ed is parallel to ec what i can say that these two angles are co interior angles yet if d angle d and angle c are co interior angles and angle c is 90 degree then this edc this angle must be 90 degree it means edc is a right angle triangle now and we also know from the property of triangle that ed is half of ac this ed length is half of ac and in triangle edc what i can say that ec square is equal to ed square plus dc square that is h square equal to p square plus b square now at in place of ed what i can write half of ac square plus dc now this dc is half of bc since d is the midpoint of bc so this d is the midpoint of bc so in this for dc what i can say it is half of bc of square so this will be ac square plus bc square by 4 that is ec square is equal to ac square plus bc square by 4 now if you take the triangle abc right angle triangle abc this ac square plus bc square this is equal to ab square this can be written as ab square by 4 because this is hypotenuse perpendicular base so Uh, perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square therefore ec can be written as ab by 2 that is uh, what we proved ec is half of ab ec is half of ab and since e is also the midpoint of this ab and this ec is half of ab so what i can say that ec is equal to eb and thus bec bec is an isosceles triangle and we can say this small angle b is equal to angle e b e c b